Alright, so before anything else, paki screen capture mo ito. Full screen tayo and earphones on. Chapter 5. Journalizing and Posting Journal Entry The journal is an accounting record wherein the business economic transactions are recorded initially. It is sometimes referred to as the Book of Original Entry. While there are various kinds of journals, the simplest form is the two-column journal. It is usually called the General Journal. The General Journal is the Book of Original Entry. The General Journal provides the following columns. Date, the particulars, folio, debit, credit. Date, syempre, yan yung pecha. Particulars, dito mo sinusulat yung mga account titles. Yung F, as we have already mentioned in our past meetings, is the folio or the reference column. The debit here and the credit are both money columns. The process of recording the business economic transactions in the general journal is called journalizing. The recorded transaction in the general journal is called a journal entry. Under the double entry bookkeeping system, each journal entry is composed of two sides, the debit and the credit entry. So you have two kinds or two types of journal entries, simple or compound entry. So para mas malinaw, let us illustrate. Let us assume that on June 20, 2020, Liberty Enterprises paid rent on the building 12,000 and electric bills 9,000 both for the month of June. To journalize that, ilalagay mo yung date, June 20, debit rent expense, 12,000, credit cash, 12,000. And there must be a brief description of the journal entry you have made to record the payment of rent. Tulad ng sabi natin, the description usually begins with the words to record. Another one for the electricity expense naman. Just the same procedure. The date, the journal entry, the amount, and a brief description of the journal entry. So pansinin mo, the credit ay hindi nakatapat doon sa debit. Hindi po yan kaek-ekan. Talagang ganyan yan. The credit must be indented a few spaces from the debit. So dito, nagbayad tayo ng rental at saka electric bill. It is journalized this way. Or, these two journal entries could be done using only one journal entry as follows. Ang ginawa natin dito ay dalawang simple journal entries. Okay? Simple entries. Compound journal entries entry naman ang tawag dito. So, papansinin mo, nakadebit yung rent expense doon, nakadebit din yung, yung electricity expense dito, iisa lang naman yung kanilang credit parehas na cash. So, you could debit them both and credit cash for the combined amount of 21,000 which is 12 plus 9,000. Those are simple entries. This is compound journal entry. Any entry that has more than one debit or more than one credit is called a compound journal entry. Ayan class, mag-journalize na tayo. So yung kanina, yung in-screen capture mo, pakitignan mo na, i-journalize na natin siya. Okay class, so attendance muna tayo. Please let me know you're present by hitting the subscribe button and saying present in the comment section. Bilang reward naman sa'yo sa paggawa mo yan, I will be giving you a free book. So... Wala nang mawawala sa iyo, subukan mo lang, ano? Say present in the comment section below. I will be posting my personal Facebook account and you would have to message me there. Sasabihin mo sa akin yung pangalan mo, yung address mo, and then yung name ng school mo. You just try, please. Subukan mo, wala na bang mawawala sa iyo. I will be mailing the book to you via LBC at wala kang gagastusin, wala kang gagawin bukod sa syempre Pagdating sa bahay ninyo, tatanggapin mo lang yung libro and that would be it. That would be my gift to you for being one of the first few subscribers. I would have to choose from the first few subscribers. So that would be my thank you gift for you. Let's continue with the lesson.
This is the reason why I usually require pencil instead of ball pen, a separate eraser for my first year students kasi mahirap pagka ball pen, malamang magkakamali ka, lalo na pagka gumagawa na tayo ng worksheet. So let us read the first transaction. Journalizing Illustrated. Using the transactions of Ocampo and Associate CBAs in Chapter 4, okay, we now prepare the formal journal entries using the general journal. June 2, Ray Ocampo put into the firm Ocampo and associate CPAs 100,000 cash to start the business. What are the accounting elements affected? Sa assets, alin? Of course, yung cash. Tama? Sa liabilities, anong effect? Wala. Di ka naman nangutang eh. Sa proprietorship, anong effect? Yung capital ay tataas. Correct? I hope you remember the rules of debit and credit. O sabi natin, to increase an asset, you must debit the asset. So, kailangan nakadebit siya. Debit, cash on Hand. So, kailangan tumingin ka dun sa iyong chart of accounts. Tama? Ano yung kanyang account number? It is 110. Debit, 100,000. And credit the capital account o campo capital. Ano yung folio natin? 610. Same amount, 100,000 also. Tsaga-tsaga lang ha? So, you must also have your brief description of the transaction. It is to record the initial investment of revenue. Ocampo. June 3. Mr. Ocampo decided to place 90,000 out of the 100,000 investment in the bank for safety and convenience. The bank deposit is a checking account. So from doon sa kanyang hawak-hawak, gusto niyang bawasan, ilalagay daw niya sa banko. Ano ang effect? Eh di nabawasan yung on hand, madadagdagan yung in bank. This is an increase in one form of asset and a decrease in another form of asset. Okay? Debit, cash, in bank and credit cash on hand. Okay? Are you following? Oh, notice mo, the, the credit is indented a few spaces from the debit. Ang dami nagkakamali dyan. Ganyan lang kasimple yan. Madalas pinagtatapat-tapat ng mga first year students. Oh, mali yun. Dapat naka-indent siya. Yung folio, syempre, itingin ka dun sa ating chart of accounts. And then yung amounts. That is 90,000, 90,000. Transaction, June 5. Mr. Ocampo acquired office equipment on account. Ibig sabihin inutang from the Gupan Enterprise 52,500. So, nakalimutan pala natin dito yung ating brief description to record transfer of cash to the bank. Balik sa number 5, anong ating journal entry? Umutang daw ng office equipment. Debit, office equipment. Titingin ka dun sa chart of accounts, titignan mo kung ano yung pinaka-related na account title dun sa binabanggit na transaction. Bumili ka ng office equipment, edi tumaas yung office equipment mo, inutang mo, eh, di nagkaroon ka ng utang. If you increase office equipment, it is an asset, it must be debited. You decrease, aka, uh, you also increase your liability, nagka-utang ka, sinabi ba na may note? Hindi. Sabi lang on accounts. So, ibig sabihin, this one must be accounts payable. For the folio or reference column, titingin ka lang ulit sa chart of accounts. It is 210 and 310. Amount, 52,500. Let us not forget the description. Okay? June 6. Mr. Ocampo acquired office supplies from Limpan Commercial worth 7,000 issuing a promissory note due in 15 days. What would be our journal entry? Inutang uli. Kaso this time merong note na involved. Debit, office supplies. Credit, notes payable dash Limpan. Okay, huwag kakalimutan yung dash Limpan. Kung ano yung nakalagay doon sa chart of accounts, dapat susundan mo siya. Kasi kung merong nawala dyan, notes payable lang nilagay mo say for example, at computerized yung system ng client natin hindi yan marirecord, hindi papasok. So, kailangan kung ano yung nakalagay sa chart of accounts. The folio and the amounts. Let's not forget again the description. Number 7, June 7. Paid business taxes to the city treasurer for cash, 5,400. So, what are the accounts involved? Tingin mo. Journal entry, debit, taxes and licenses expense. Credit, nagbayad, cash on hand. Nagbayad. So, cash on hand ang nabawasan. Kung ang sinabi sana, pay Paid using check. Nag-issue ng check eh. Aba, ang mababawasan yung cash in bank, hindi yung cash on hand. So, these are just implementations of the rules of debit and credit that we have already studied. If you debit an asset, you increase an 
asset if you if you credit it you decrease it etc etc liabilities proprietorship debit and credit description brief description lang hindi ka mamamali sa description for as long as ma-describe mo yung nature ng transaction to record the cash payment for business taxes number eight bought a second hand automobile for business use from the Gupan Auto Center issuing a two year promissory note for 250,000 bearing a 12% interest rate and dated June 9, 2020 bumili ng second hand automobile journal entry debit automobile credit notes payable Dagupan Auto Center kung paano natin siya ginagawa yun yung correct way ng paggawa unang sinusulat yung debit kesa sa credit syempre at saka yung indention inuulit ko lagi daming nagkakamali dyan folio or the reference column in this case it is the account number 230 and 360 amounts ilan daw yung amounts sa problem 250,000 transaction number 9 this is your description for number 8 paid office rent for 1 year to a barabar buildings issuing check for the total amount of 48,000 the rent covers the period June 1, 2020 to May 31, 2021. Journal entry, debit, rent, expense, credit. Ang pinambayad ay cheque. So, ang nabawasan yung nasa banko. Credit, cash, in bank. The folio column, reference numbers, and the amounts. Magkano daw? 48,000. Description, to record the issuance of check for one-year rental. O pwede mo sabihin, to record payment of rental expense. Yun lang. May isa pang na nangyari sa June 9. Build the following clients for audit work performed. Pag sinabing build, sinisingil mo pero hindi pa nagbabayad. Hindi ka pa nakakasingil. Okay? Yun ang ibig sabihin ng build. So, sinisingil mo si Alpha, Beta at saka si Katgas. Journal entries. Debit. Accounts receivable. Alpha company. Debit. Accounts receivable. Beta trading. And another debit. Accounts receivable. Cut gas company. So, this is a compound entry. Your credit must be professional income. Tulad ng nakalagay sa chart of accounts. Account numbers dun sa ating folio column and the amounts. 22, 30, 15, and 67,000. Of course, our description, to record the receivables from clients or to record billing of clients or to bill clients. Ayan, di ka mamamali doon. Okay, class. So, that's the bell already. That's it for this meeting. Oh, so, ganun-ganun lang, class. A few minutes of your time every day. Imbis na kung ano-ano yung pinapanood mo, just make it a habit to watch our videos pa bilang tulong na rin dun sa sarili mong pag-aaral. Why? Kasi tatandaan mo, hindi lahat ng nababasa mo ng mag-isa ay maririnig mo. At hindi din lahat ng mga naririnig mo ay mababasa mo. Tulungan yan. So with that, see you in our next meeting. See you in the next lesson.